And now, back to The Splash, live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm Tyler Keith at the Orchard Lake Fine Arts Show, joined by Anita. Anita, you are from East Lansing, Michigan, so one of our local artists here in the state of Michigan joining us in West Bloomfield. Tell us about your paintings. Tell us about your art. Um, well, um, all of my stuff is one of a kind. So there are oil paintings um, where I paint what I like. And so there's anything from boats to um, Michelangelo's um, works, reproductions. Um, places that I've been and I love art because it feeds my soul and so anything that is on a wall is on a wall because I love it so that's that's my process and yeah what pops about your art is the amount of color but also the amount of detail that goes in to the subjects of your pictures so to take us a little bit through your process and when you're going through the design the composition what are you thinking of as an artist as you're starting and as you're going through that there is a great book out um, that talks about color choices color composition um, and it's by Stephen Quiller and he has um, a different kind of color wheel than anybody else has where he has semi neutrals in there but he's got pure color on the outside and so I try to use most of the pure colors and never ever use black except for on this which is called everything will be okay um, so that's the only thing that I actually have black on and chose to use black everything else is more of a um, I like to use a lot of blues a lot of purples um, to get shadows colors um, so that's those are my choices that's why that's why there's color when did this journey start for you as an artist when did that when did that interest and, and that passion for creating art for painting start you're amazing at this so just want to say um, so this painting um, is brand new so this is the first time it's been in an art show um, and it's gonna be a story but this is um, one of the Sibyls that's on the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. This is the Libyan Sibyl. And um, I um, majored in physical therapy, so my minor's in music and in anatomy. And I loved anatomy. In my day, all anatomy had to be, um, you couldn't have a picture, a live picture of uh, muscles. They all had to be paintings. So F. Netter is the guy that um, rendered all those paintings. But at the same time that I was taking anatomy classes, I also took art classes, but my dad wouldn't let me major in art, so I couldn't do that. But I loved watching Michelangelo's, um, the lines that he chose to use for all of his, um, his paintings. So here's Sybil with her toe. And um, these are sketches from 500 years ago where he rendered her toe, he rendered her hand. Um, he did a lot of um, cadaver studies because he, illegally he could um, do autopsies sort of studies um, in, in Florence. And so that's how he got such beautifully sculpted muscles before anybody could actually do that. Um, so I think that I was drawn in by Michelangelo and by the way that he rendered um, human form. And so that's what, that's that's my story of how I got into art. So I started with portraits, do a lot of portraits. Like, this is my neighbor. Um, she died in September, um, but I did a portrait for her when she died for her family. And um, she was like a grandparent to my kids. So these are my kids. Um, they had notes that they would write her. And so I put the notes um, on her portrait to say what a measure of a life is. So her life counted because she poured into people. Being able to make a career out of, out of creating art and, and having those that interaction, those interactions with people through your art, whether it's one-to-one -one or in an environment like this, is, is one thing. But being at an art show, having that experience of people seeing your art and, and taking that art in and being able to talk to them about that art, how does that make it different for you as, as someone who's a business person and an artist simultaneously? Um, well, that's where I get all the feedback because I'm an introvert. Um, and so I create all my work at home, um, not talking to anybody about it. And so it's really nice to get feedback from people as they come in and ask, you know, where it was or what, you know, how I did it. or um, So that's one part of it. 
Um, and it's just fun in the summer to be at art shows. It's a ton of work to set up a booth and um, to haul all the art in and out. And yeah. I think about all the time that goes into getting ready for an art show. It's not just setting up the booths, it's actually creating the art as well, and that also a big process for you. So if you're going out to these art shows, it's always great to talk with these artists and get through the process and really grow that appreciation for the art. Anita, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your time. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Anita Brett from East Lansing, Michigan, with us at the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. You can keep up to date and learn more about every one of these artists at this year's event by either joining us every single year, last weekend in July, right here in West Bloomfield Township or visiting hotworks.org. We'll be back with more from the, from the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show after this. You're watching and listening to The Splash Live.